gonorrhea. It's a sexually transmitted infection caused by a bacteria called Neisseria gonorrhea. Major risk factors for gonorrhea include a new sexual partner, multiple sexual partners, being unmarried, low educational and social economic levels, and history of substance abuse. Symptomatic urogenital gonococcal infection in males presents as erythritis, which is the inflammation of the urethra. It can also affect the epididymis, causing epididymitis, or the prostate, causing prostatitis. In females, Neisseria gonorrhea also causes erythritis, but most frequently causes vaginitis and cervicitis which is the inflammation of the vagina and cervix respectively. Through the cervix, the infection can spread to the uterus, fallopian tubes, and sometimes to the ovary, causing pelvic inflammatory disease, or PID. Then the PID can cause a complication called Fitzhugh Cutis syndrome, which happens when the inflammation spreads to the peritoneum and from there to the Gilson's capsule that surrounds the liver. The infection can also involve the bathroom gland, making it inflamed, which is called bathorinitis. If Neisseria gonorrhea affects pregnant women, it's associated with chorioamnionitis, premature rupture of membranes, preterm birth, low birth weight, and spontaneous abortions. It can also spread to the baby during vaginal delivery and result in early neonatal conjunctivitis. Neisseria gonorrhea can also cause extragenital infections. When the infection spreads to the joints, it can cause gonococcal arthritis. If it spreads to the heart, it can affect the valves causing endocarditis. The first symptoms of gonorrhea are related to genital infection. In men, there can be a burning sensation when urinating as well as a urethral discharge which may become prolonged or bloody. Women may present with vaginal itching or mucoprolent vaginal or urethral discharge. If the infection progresses to PID, there might be lower abdominal pain, painful sexual intercourse, lower back pain, and fever. Alternatively, with neonatal conjunctivitis, there can be swollen eyelids with mucus or pus discharge from the eyes. In gonococcal arthritis, there is mild joint inflammation causing painful swellings of the wrists, knees, elbows, and ankles. With gonococcal endocarditis, there may be fever, chills, sweating, and malaise. Diagnosis is usually done with a vaginal or urethral swab, which is then smeared on the slide for biochemical tests and gram staining, which reveals pink coffee bean shaped bacteria within neutrophils. Culturing the bacteria on thiamatin agar is required for confirmation, but nucleic acid amplification testing or NAT can also be done which involves identifying bacterial genetic material. Treatment of gonorrhea is with third generation cephalosporins antibiotics, typically ceftriaxone. It's found out that gonococcal infection is usually associated with chlamydia trachomatis co-infection, therefore azithromycin or doxycycline are given together with ceftriaxone to also cover chlamydia. Since gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted infection, it can be prevented by using condoms during sexual intercourse. Thanks for watching and kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page.